Ooh. Ooh. That was nice. Oh my god. That was like times three or something? Alright, here we are on some Modern Warfare Remastered. And we found a game literally instantly. Sick. Hopefully you enjoyed yesterday's video. Um, I am currently in the same shirt, all the same clothes as yesterday. Not because I'm gross, but because I just recorded that video. I'm actually recording basically all of this week's video in one day. <laughs> That's because I got a new job. I got a new day job, which means I technically will have less time for videos and streaming, which kind of sucks, but I will be making a lot more money. <laughs> so I'm gonna record here when I can. And then when I'm out of the state for the week, I'm gonna take my PC and hopefully get a laptop soon and be able to edit during the week. And hopefully, like, play for more videos and stuff. Hopefully, I don't have to do that forever. Hopefully, the, this stuff takes off eventually. That'd be... That's ideal. That's, like, the life dream. That's the dream of, like, 75% of kids in 2022. But I can't really bank off it. I have, like, adult things to do. Oh, and exactly what I was talking about in yesterday's video. So, Exclusion Zone is hidden. You can't actually see it in here. But these camos to unlock, like, gold camo and regal and stuff are like easy okay so you need headshots you just need 150 headshots okay cool then you get red tiger and then you unlock these once you unlock red tiger 150 kills with no attachments and 150 kills with red dot and then you have gold i kind of want to get exclusion zone i kind of really want to get exclusion zone guys dude imagine how fast the mwr challenges would go if there was shipment 24 7 like, it just goes to show how fucked they made them. I, back in the day, it was 150 headshots and you had the max camo. Now you need long shots, kills behind cover, mounted kills, sliding kills, all that shit. Like 500 of each just to get gold on a single weapon. So Call of Duty just isn't casual anymore. And that's like a prime indicator of that. It's also almost like Activision just can't find the line between enough content and way too much. Enemy UAV is airborne. Ah! Instead of having the absolutely horrendous challenges to get gold, you get gold, diamond, uh, Damascus, obsidian, all that shit. You could have like specific weapon class challenges. So like, uh, get a thousand headshots with SMGs and you get another camo. Like, uh, I think World War II actually had a really good system for that. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I know they have a lot of really cool camos. If anyone remembers, let me know in the comments. But people don't want the most challenging shit in the world to do or the most annoying shit in the world to do. They just want productive stuff to do. They don't want to kill a thousand enemies behind cover. That's the most annoying shit in the world. They just want stuff to do. Headshots. I don't care as long as it's in the player's control they want those challenges what would also be a sick challenge too operator challenges so you know how every operator is or at least in older call of duties before they had the actual operator system like snipers you had a ghillie suit smgs like you had a different skin that stuff like 10,000 kills with smgs you unlock a cool ass smg skin That'd be so dope. The challenges with operators have always been super lackluster. They've never been cool. And they've always found some way to fuck it up. I don't understand. Like, they'll almost get the mark. They'll be so close to the mark. And then they just do some stupid shit. I think I only need a couple more kills with it. I'm actually really close to regal snipers. I had somehow never got regal snipers on this game. But I'm really close. I think I need like 100 kills with this. And then I just need to get the dragon off done. Or I could like find something else to do. I, I don't know if this is going to count towards regal or not. This shit just proves there's so much in life to do that I'm never going to be able to do. Because I just don't have the time i'm just never gonna sleep again no i'm just gonna keep drinking g fuel until i never have to sleep again that way i get 23 and a half hours a day to do whatever i want just so i can accomplish everything i can get damascus i can get exclusion zone i can go to the grand canyon i can do all that shit all of it and what would i be doing with the other 30 minutes you ask i also noticed that these challenges just happen by naturally playing the game challenges and new call of duties don't happen by just naturally playing the game you got to do all sorts of weird shit to get them it's so ugh. Aww. Oh, he's taking a little nap. Oh my god, now his feet are- Oh my- <laughs> That reminds me of uh, the old Mad Skills Kid picture. <laughs> Bro, Captain Press legit just went. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, let's open up a uh, supply drop. Oh, electric guy! Oh my god, an epic sniper camo. Let's go! That's pretty nice. That's a nice camo. I like that. Oh, there we go. We got gold. There we go. We get the gold attack, and it does not count towards. Okay. So we need the Dragonov and M21. 